Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud, and welcome back to our video series on Jet Backup 5. In this video, we'll cover how to restore specific files using Jet Backup 5. Let's begin. The file backup feature located within the home directory icon of your Jet Backup interface lets you restore specific files and folders rather than the entire account all at once. Let's restore some files so you can see how this feature works. To access the Jet Backup feature, first open your cPanel. As you can see, mine is already open. Next, look for the Files section and click Jet Backup 5 to open Jet Backup. Once Jet Backup 5 is open, click Home Directory to open the File Restoration tool. After clicking Home Directory, you will be given a list of backups to choose from. I want to restore a file from the most recent backup, so I'm going to choose the backup at the top by clicking on it. You'll note the selection turns orange and a button has appeared. To select the specific files or folders that I want to restore, you need to click the Change Files Selection button. After clicking that button, a modal will appear, where you will be presented with a list of folders and files in your home directory. Click through these folders until you locate the file or folders you want to restore. I want to restore the directory called Wagtail, which is located in my public HTML folder. Once I've located the folder, I'm going to tick the checkbox to the left of the folder and in the bottom right of the modal, click Select Files. After clicking that button, the modal will disappear. Now scroll down the page and look for the two options to either restore or download these files. Depending on what you want to do, you can choose an option here. I want to restore, so I'm going to click restore. However, if you wanted to simply download these files, you could click download and they would be made available to you as a zip file. After clicking restore, a modal will appear asking me to confirm the restoration. Just click restore selected items. After clicking Restore, the modal will disappear and you will see a message in the top right stating the restore has been added to the queue successfully. To access the queue, look for the queue option on the Jet Backup homepage. The restore you just requested should be listed and you will be able to see the progress of the restore in real time beneath the status column. You also have the option to cancel the queued recovery if you wish. In my case, I'm going to leave this as is, and as you can see, it has already completed. Once it's completed, you will see the status column has been changed to completed. This means the recovery was successful and everything has been put back the way it was on the date you chose for the recovery. And that's how you use the file recovery feature in Jet Backup 5. Now stay with us for the next tutorial in our video series on Jet Backup, where we will learn how to restore database backups using Jet Backup 5. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform. All backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free. We're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If you're not happy, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.